So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to the tutorial for web workers in ES 2017 and uh, we actually call it ES 8 as well incorrectly but uh, one of the coolest things ES 8 brings to us is web workers and it is pretty much implemented in all major browsers all major browser vendors and you can use them right now so web workers actually provide you to create a multi-threaded like environment in javascript and not actually like but it is a multi-threaded environment and by that what i mean is suppose that uh, uh, let's just say uh, there are some boxes here right and you are a person this is you right so you have to transfer all these boxes from here to let's just say here like that so you have to do that this task all alone now what if I give uh, this task to one another person with you so this guy is now helping you now obviously there would be a performance gain right not really well there are a lot of conditions in parallel programming which if you do not set it up correctly would actually cause you a performance hit instead of a performance boost so we will come back to that later on but for now let's just assume that our intuition is correct and this um, guy which we have added would actually help you in your process so you can see that it intuitively it seems like the second person is going to help you by speeding up the tasks he can uh, carry these two you can carry these two and you will be done in half the time so that's essentially what web workers would be used for dividing tasks among multiple web workers each web worker being run on a separate thread and uh, um, they can just Pretty much communicate with a script which call them and so on and so forth so enough of talking let's get started so here is our script.js file and uh, to create a web worker what we need to do is uh, let's just give it a worker name and we have to say new worker now this would expect us to write a file name which is worker.js in our case because I am working in the same directory right so worker.js would be the file which we are going to in which we are going to write our worker code so once you have done that um, what happens is the browser behind the scenes would perform an HTTP request to the script file it will download it it will start compiling it and um, pretty much browser will start it as a different JavaScript file on a different thread other than main thread right so <clears throat> inside worker what we have is uh, um, we can attach to an event which is message and we can say and we can pretty much just say that uh, main script sent and then data right and right here as well we can say add event listener message data and then we can say worker sent data right so we are listening for messages on each other but how do we actually communicate from this script to the worker well to do that what we have to do is just say worker dot post message and our message goes here so I can say hello there and save it so what happens right here is uh, first of all we define the worker then we are adding an event listener to it it doesn't matter the order can be flipped it won't matter actually so you can attach an event listener later on as well and you can attach it something like on message as well if you want function but I just prefer this add event listener approach it kind of makes it look professional I don't know so 
uh, yeah uh, we attach the event listener to this worker we listen for the message we get the data we console log it right seems uh, fairly easy to understand then we post a message to the worker so we can just say hello there from main script right and uh, inside worker we can actually say a post message back so whatever you write in here you can actually write it like self as well self dot add event listener self dot post message so self is the kind of window here window is not available in workers because dom access is not available in workers now the reason dom access is not available in the web workers is because dom api is not thread safe so you are very very likely to run into race conditions if you try to manipulate dom given that dom had given access to workers to uh, be able to get manipulated from them directly but that's not the case so we do not need to discuss that so in one liner dom cannot be modified from workers directly so if you want to modify a i don't know some element on the screen you have to post the message from worker to the main script the calling script and the calling script which is running on the ui thread the main thread is has only the power to modify the ui or the dom or whatever so we can just post the message back hi there from a nice worker and uh, that is it so let's just see what we have in here so i have a local server running which just has a root in the same directory so you can see that when we reload this we got something like main script sent then a message event now the message event consists of this whole big thing but what we are interested in is in the data which is the data being sent so it is an object so you can attach objects to it you are not confined on sending just the strings you can attach objects right so here we have the data as hello there from the main script so main script sent we call we got a call from this one right so we got um, the main script first sent this hello there from main script to the worker so we are we have hello there from main script and then worker sent is hi there from a nice worker pretty cool right all right now this is okay but um, what is the actual use of this so let's just quickly take a look at how we can use this so um, let's just say I want to actually let's just leave it like that only for whatever reasons 10,000 100,000 million 10 million 100 million billion right so let's just make it uh, 2 billion for whatever reasons I just want to count up to 2 billion and I just want to say count plus plus there's my variable let count is zero and then I'm gonna alert something on UI thread right and if you take a look in the browser you can see we are hanging we are hanging because the UI thread is busy it's counting so you can see that we actually got hanged and we can actually just calculate it as well so you can just console log this thing that time taken is performance which is just an API to get the millisecond time more precisely up to 20 nanoseconds I guess because it was increased from 5 to 20 after the spectre and meltdown attack so you can see that it took us around 7 seconds to uh, 
do this calculation and block the UI thread. Now, the obvious thing here to do is move this thing on a worker thread. So what we can do is actually just um, say here, I just want to say worker.post message and I want to say type command and then I'm going to say, uh, I don't know, let's just say action count to 2 billion. Why not? And there we are. So we can say that if data, I'll actually since uh, we are only interested in data, so we can use the destructuring ES6 thing to get the data directly dot uh, let's say, now this is the thing we are receiving from the worker so we're gonna define that later data dot uh, action is count to 2 billion then I'm just gonna console log we are done right without blocking the UI thread and inside the worker, what we can say is, uh, first of all, let's just get rid of this self. Uh, we can say a uh, similar thing here. And right here we can say if data dot action is equal to count to 2 billion, and make sure that is correct, count to 2 billion, yep. So I want to run this loop here and I just want to post a message that done, not really done, but action count to 2 billion status done. Okay, so let's just take a look in the browser now and see how this looks like. So you can see that UI thread was not blocked and count is actually not defined here so let's just define this thing real quick and we can just omit some semicolons there we don't need those let's just reload something on UI thread and you can see that the UI thread is not blocked meanwhile worker was performing its task in the background so it is kind of like if you're developing a game it's you just uh, got a CPU intensive task you need to perform a bunch of request requests to the server or whatever you need to get some graphics you need to perform some CPU intensive work some calculation or whatever so you move that thing offload to a worker worker works on it on a separate thread main UI thread is not blocked worker is a long living connection it is different from asynchronous in the sense that you can see it's pretty much a file itself. Asynchronous functions are just functions. Async await is good, but again, workers where they are required cannot be a replacement. Right, so that is pretty much a very basic introduction to web workers. And in the following tutorials, uh, we're gonna take a look at how to make use of shared array buffers to actually see the real magic of parallel processing the data and uh, computing things so that is all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next video